how do you deal with pistol malfunctions? Main thing is, don't sweat it. Keep the gun pointed in a safe direction downrange, just in case it's a hang fire. And remember to use factory ammunition. If you do that alone, your chances of getting a hang fire almost reduce down to zero. Go through everything slowly. Remember, there's no rush. Now, first up is a type one malfunction, or a failure to feed, or failure to fire. That's when you press the trigger, hear click, but nothing else. It's the most common malfunction, and it can stem from bad ammo, bad primers, a light primer strike, or even not having ammo in the magazine, which trust me, happens a lot more than you'd think. And it can also stem from having the magazine not fully seated, so make sure to always slam it home. The easiest fix is tap, rack, and bang. Now let's try to simulate it with dummy rounds. Tap the magazine to make sure that it's fully seated. Rack the slide so ejects the current round, if there is one, and strips a new round into the chamber. We'll double check. And then bang is, well, pressing the trigger. Now let's see it live action. A type two malfunction is known as a stove pipe and it'll make sense when you see it. It's when an empty case gets stuck in the ejection port. When you press a trigger, it turns to mush and nothing happens. One of the main culprits is not having a firm enough grip or not giving enough resistance to the slide moving back and forth, AKA a limp wrist. So if that's happening to you a lot, make sure to double check our grip episode. The good thing is that the solution is the same as our type one malfunction, tap, rack, and bang. Tap to make sure the magazine is fully seated. Then rack the slide to move the stovepiped casing out of the way. Then bang is well, bang again. Now let's see that live action. The last malfunction is a type three malfunction, also known as a double feed. It doesn't happen too often, but it's always good to know what to do when you have one. It's when a round heads into the chamber when there's already a round in the chamber. When you have a double feed and press trigger, it turns to mush. If you get several type three malfunctions during a shooting session, you might wanna get your gun checked out. It could be a damaged extractor. But if it's only happening to one specific magazine, guess what, time to get a new magazine. And unfortunately, it's not as easy as tap rack bang. There's pressure built up from the round trying to enter the chamber, so the magazine is a little stuck. Rack the slide back and manually engage the slide lock. Rip the magazine out, and if you're training for a real life situation, drop it to the ground. Now, rack the slide like you mean it, usually around three to four times to double check. Now, grab a fresh mag, load it, and you're good to go. Now let's see that live. There you have it, the three types of malfunctions. Type one is when you press a trigger and only hear a click. Tap rack bang to fix that. Type two is the stovepipe malfunction, when you press a trigger and it feels a little bit mushy, plus you see the stuck casing. Tap rack bang again. And type three is when you have a mushy trigger and you see a double feed. Lock the slide, rip out the mag, rack it three times, insert a new mag, and you're ready to go. Hey guys, Eric from Pew Pew Tactical again. Hope you enjoyed that little snippet from my beginner handgun course. If you wanna see more educational content like this, let me know in the comments below. And for details on that course, check out the link in the description.